For me, what's interesting about the Amazon robot case is that to the average customer, it seems like nothing has changed. You, you're still getting the same service that you would have had 10 years ago when you would order something online. But behind the scenes, there is more automation, not just software automation, but now more physical automation. And it's interesting how a lot of these systems are sort of disguised as being very everyday and, and mundane, like, you know, nothing really changes. And, and I think that's kind of what we sort of, uh, as artists, maybe need to sort of recognize and intensify. It's intensifying that relationship that we have to these technologies um, so that audiences can really see the, the, those relationships. This leads on well to the next video, which is by an artist called Max Goodman, who created a project called Picnic, where he intensifies, intensifies his relationship to, to software automation and, and services that employ software automation. Uh, here he's using both uh, takeaway service, um, that's kind of like Deliveroo, but it's a US version of that, and using Uber, the taxi driving system, to have a random picnic. Uh, and he does this by uh, creating his own software that randomly orders some food for him uh, for takeaway, and that software automatically assigns where that food needs to be delivered to. It's not delivered to himself, to his home address, it's delivered to somewhere else. And then the software then orders him an Uber to go pick up the food at that, that location where the food's being delivered to. So he ends up having this sort of random computer generated picnic, um, but the software is not just doing that, it's sort of enacting all these other systems that also rely on, on software. And it becomes this whole sort of uh, performative event of himself, the software, the guys preparing the food, the Uber driver, uh, everything's being orchestrated by a piece of software and I think it's just this brilliant idea.